Austin. It was it. Well, we had cars. Now yeah. we have crafts here. We have a beautiful, a lot going on. Beautiful setup and mm -hmm. some fun activities. We'll get to. Yeah, yeah. And today we're joined by something beautiful owner and creator Teresa Shymansky, who started it all. So we're going to talk a little bit more about it. But first off, can you tell us a little bit about what something beautiful is? Yes. Uh, first of all, it's the garage story that everybody knows about. <laughs> I started out my garage and I wanted to uh, really do this wonderful project. And so when I started out in the garage, it was two years of building curriculum mm -hmm. for a horticulture gardening um, idea with flowers and how to work with children and how to teach them everything about that kind of exploration. So it was interesting because I have a wonderful daughter. Her name is Kimberly Rocca and she is a designer and she builds homes and she built my studio oh, wow. so she made my dream come true <laughs> yes. and uh, it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous it's out on 43 acres mm -hmm. and it has a three acre pond and the kids love it and the kids call it the best ever that's what <laughs> I they don't say. blame them they, I uh, would too yeah yeah. Yes. Too. yeah they've titled that so um, I began and I build the curriculum now I have camps and I have um, workshops for teens and adults. I have after school programs. This is a birthday party you're seeing right that now, a cake so pour. Cool. A lot amazing. of creativity and they love it. And um, so I also have private gatherings. So yeah. we'll do high tea for bridal parties. We'll do uh, team building. Very fun. For KCRT. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so we can do that. We can do that. So that's yes. really good. And but purpose, the whole um, project had a purpose. Yes. And the reason I really asked God, I just said to him, hey, um, our first of all, something beautiful is a faith-based nonprofit yeah. organization. And yeah. I am a chaplain yeah. for help for kids. So I've been working with kids in inner city mm -hmm. for a long time. But anyway, um, I decided that I just asked God, I want to use all my talents, my property, this beautiful property and anything that I can do to help raise money to rescue kids from trafficking mm -hmm. yeah so that was like my passion and my goal and it's interesting because I actually walked that journey yeah yeah so yeah. I've come through that so. journey and I'm on the other side mm -hmm. and I carry the joy and the message and I think that we all carry a message when you've overcome Anybody out there, if you've overcome something that's really been difficult, you carry a message yes. for people. And so I carry that message for those who have been trafficked, sexually abused, that you will be healed. And I hope that you hear me today because I'm really speaking to you. You will be healed and Christ will heal you. So there is a healer. So I just encourage that for you if you have any talents that yeah. you could use them. Yeah. You know, Honestly. to actually help raise funds Absolutely. to help rescue children. Exactly. Yeah. And, and do you take volunteers if somebody's interested oh, yes. in helping out? Absolutely. Yeah. I always need volunteers. We have a wonderful, we've had over 50 volunteers. We are a non-paid staff. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. have any paid staff. Jim and myself, we don't pay ourselves, so it's yeah. totally... It's truly really from the heart, essentially. It's from the heart, and we probably, after we pay all expenses and all supplies and take care of everything, I think that we're probably at 90% yeah. giving. Wow, so if somebody yeah. books a party, a tea, or something like that, the money would will go back yes. to yeah. yes, absolutely. helping stop yeah. trafficking. Wow, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Help something bigger than yourself. Bigger yes. than yourself. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing this for a little while now. How, how has it changed over the past when it comes to starting versus now? I think, well, starting in the garage, it's a big change. Yeah. You know, once you have the facility, then you can really grow. Yeah. So we've grown to, uh, from the camps to workshops for uh, teens and for adults. And we also have after school program. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, like I said, private gatherings so people can have their own custom party. So we do birthday parties and we have a teen program and this year we added the five-year-old. Oh, so I yeah. I love yeah. it. That's awesome. Yeah. How can mm. people sign up for that? Yeah. Oh, we'll have maybe, well, 10 to 12 per class. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's usually 12 is usually max. So and it's a whole, uh, how many classes will there be? Well, during the summer, they run Monday through Friday. And then um, on the weekends, now we're shifting into the weekends. So Fridays after school, Saturday are workshops for kids. Like if you look at this, oh, this beautiful, cool. um, this is a 10-year-old who built this. And in the oh, camp, it actually oh, takes, gosh. it takes two days 
days to finish building I don't think I could build that. that. Oh, you could. We have a <laughs> That is that. impressive. I that know. is very yeah. impressive. Yeah. I don't know um, about I that. Really, I really like this one because this is what we call free flow design. So this is a seven-year-old. She just went in and did whatever she wanted. Oh, my god! They love it. They That's just go gorgeous. Crazy. This is a teen uh, group that we had. We had an outdoor, we had a camp all week long. Mm -hmm. And the teens just love it. This was outside, uh, sort of like an artist colony under the tree. So they did this beautiful That's rendition of, of a tree. Uh, and you have mini cooking as well. Yeah, can I step yeah. over there? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so this is um, this is a favorite of people, or I shouldn't say. Uh, well, the parents love it, the kids love it. It's called real mini cooking, and you can see the things that we have laid out here are what they use. They get a little apron, a hat. They do their own menu. They make a cookie. You want a cookie? Oh, cute. <laughs> you can have a cookie taste. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. And then all of this, when this comes, my husband actually built the room. He does a great job helping me with so many things. That's but gorgeous. the children, they put in their own kitchen design so they design everything in here and then they make their little menu oh this is great look at this I know that is so they cute. great Beautiful. <laughs> they, yeah. and you can find all of this on your website and Facebook page yes, online. exactly thank you so much for being here thank you Teresa yeah we appreciate it thank you thank you mm -hmm.